Hey guys, uh, I am doing the 100 questions again. I'm separating them by page chunks. Uh, they're, they're about 15 minutes long. I just want you, since I don't do videos very often, I just wanted to do this. Uh, and for you guys to get to know me a little bit more. And I'd love to invest more into your life and want you to know who I am and what I like to do. But I have to believe, so there you go. <clears throat> Here's page four, which is the last page, and you're welcome, and I'm sorry about how long this is. Uh, so here you go. Uh, question one on the last page, it says, where would you like to retire? Uh, I would like to retire in Lake Tahoe or Ireland two of my favorite places in the world, or um, Breckenridge, which is also one of my favorite places in the world. It's in Colorado, and they have a lot of skiing and a lot of stuff, and uh, a lot of resorts that you can go to, and this is a pretty place, and there's a lot of great food options. There's Breckenridge Brewery, because when I retire, I will be like over 21. So I have a lot of brews there, or uh, Napa Valley, because I would love to just drink wine every day. That was literally my life goal. Um, <laughs> what is your best physical features? What are mine? Um, my mom says that I have a cute butt. If anyone wants to know, I can show you. Hang on. Come on. Move over. Move over. So you have like, I have a decent little butt. Uh, I think that's my best physical feature. Okay. Yeah. Whew, that was a struggle. Um, for me, I think also my eyes are a good physical feature. Uh, they're like a grayish blue. Sorry. They're a grayish blue. I know my body pretty well, and I, I know I'm really big for a person, uh, which kind of sucks sometimes. Um, I got made fun of as a kid for that, but I know my body. I know that I am working towards getting it, it fitter and all that stuff, and like I'm working hard at working out, all that stuff. Sorry, I'm just out of breath all <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, I would also say, like, I have this beauty mark right here um, that I got. It's been there ever since I was born. I've had it, and it's just kind of been there, and I think it's kind of a stand standoffish thing, so. Also, my hair. It's on point today. Good job, Schmitty. Good job. No, 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 no. No. Okay. Uh, what are your best characteristics? I am a good conversation starter person. Like, I will go up to someone and ask them, like, hey, nice to meet you. How are you? You don't really technically ask how are you first off the bat, but you just, people say I can have a conversation pretty well. Um, right now I'm struggling. <laughs> um, I like to laugh a lot. I've just been really stressed out lately that I don't laugh as much, which is kind of sad, actually. I used to be very, like, I would laugh at a lot of things, like people falling, which is the saddest thing in the world, but it's funny as heck if you think, if you know what I mean. Uh, so there you go. Um, I think my best characteristics is I'm very loyal, and I will do anything for my friends, regardless of how much I don't like them at that one point. Uh, I'm still extremely loyal uh, to my friends, and I still want to hang out with them, and I miss them so greatly. Even to the point where I have my class ring on my necklace, in which I miss my friends from my class. But hey, I got to see them a couple nights ago, which was really nice. Um, that's always fun when you see your friends again. So, all right. Oh, that felt so good. Wow. Um, let's see. If you could go anywhere in the world to, on a vacation, where would you go? Fiji, 
uh, Australia. I, I want to see my friend in Australia, New Zealand, or France. So, what kind of books do you like to read? All types of books, nonfiction, fiction, fantasy, sci-fi, like, I like James Patterson's writings, I like Shane Dawson's writing, I like Amy Poehler, <laughs> I just should talk, I should just do an Amy Poehler video, because I just love her so much, she's so, like, great, and I would love to meet her one day, um, there I'm. where would you want to retire to? Redundant. Oh my gosh. Um, like I said, Napa Valley or like Breckenridge or Tahoe or Ireland. <sighs> okay. What is your favorite time of day of the day? Going home from work. Like I just like feel so good. You know, like that at the very end scene of. Um, Breakfast Club, where Bender was, like, walking down the field, and he's like, yeah, after he's done. That's kind of how I feel <laughs> at the end of, the like, the day. I'm just like, yeah, can't wait. Let's go. <clears throat> and I head to my car and then drive to, like, Starbucks and just relax and look through my Snapchat stories um, and watch YouTube videos and make YouTube videos or, or call my friends seeing that I'm hanging out that night, so... Um, where did you grow up? I grew up here, um, in Denver. I, now, I was, I lived in Lone Tree, which is a tiny, tiny city. It's about five square miles of city -age. Um, and it's not that far away from Denver. It's maybe like 30 minutes. Uh, but now I'm like an hour, hour and a half away from Denver. I live out in the country, um, which is, which is nice. I like I like the country, I like where I live, so, uh, but I grew up in the Denver metro area, um, it was really cool, cause I, I was, although, hold on, I was born in Redlands, California, um, but I just, I love Colorado so much, even though I'm trying, I'm trying to go to an out of state school, I, I will always have Colorado as a special place in my heart. So, uh, it's beautiful, regardless of what people think about the 420 thing. Because, honestly, I might, this is going to hurt, but fuck people who smoke weed. Like, I don't care what, I just hate it. I hate it so much. And I hate how my, my state is like that. And I was just like, really, people? Really? Why would you ever want to ruin your life like that? It's just horrible. It's just, people say, it doesn't hurt, man. Like, I can do whatever the heck I want. Like, go for it. Go ruin your life. Do you know how expensive it is? And you're going behind people's back just to get it? And do you don't know, you don't know what it's laced with? And people are like, oh yeah, I got it. I'll just do this. Or, yeah, I'll just, whatever. My life doesn't matter. I'm like, yeah, it's your, your life matters, dude. That's what color of just frustrates me. It's like, Really. It's like, there's dispensaries at every other corner. It's like basically our Starbucks. Like, there's more dispensaries than there are Starbucks. There is something wrong with that, people. Get a caffeine. Please. Don't ruin your life over a substance. It's, it's just, people just frustrate me. I'll talk about that on another issue in the future, but... Um, But yeah. Uh, how far away from your birthplace do you live now? Hold on. Oh, that's Siri. Hey, Siri. How far away is Redlands, California from Denver, Colorado? The distance between Denver and Redlands is about 780 miles. Wow. Born traveler. So, I did that. <laughs> um, there you go. What are you reading right now? Uh, the Shane Dawson book. It 
I hate my selfie. It's really good. You should buy it. You want to hear it? Oh, sorry, sorry, Shane. Sorry, sorry, dude. Um. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Morning person. I can't stay up late. I just get cranky. If I if I don't go to bed by like. The latest I could stay up is like 11.30, maybe 12. I can't go further. Uh, can you touch your nose with your tongue? Okay. I don't know why I have to take off the glasses for this. Mm. There you go. Hey, this gonna hate right now. Mm. How many rings before you answer the phone? I answer right away. Oh, sorry. Sorry, can you uh, skip questions again? Can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrow? Yep. Um, do you have any pets? Uh, yeah, I have one dog. My brother has a dog. My grandmother has a dog, and my brother has one cat. So I have pets, mostly dogs though. Um, so it says. How many rings before you answer the phone immediately? Unless I'm like, who are you? Who's this random number that's calling me? And I just ignore them. I'm sorry, people. Uh, best childhood memory? Hmm. Probably the one time I. I love going to California. It's one of my favorite places in the world to visit my family. Um, I think there was one time where I was with my dad, we were up at, at a lake, I forgot what it was called, oh my god, and we tipped a camera in, which is like a boat, so my dad, I don't know how to say it, is it a camera in, I don't know, oh my god, I don't know, um, so there, that happened, I remember flipping into it, and I was so young, I was like maybe eight, maybe seven, like a seven, eight year old, um, and it was just crazy, it was just a crazy moment, and I was like, what is <laughs> happening? Uh, anything, uh, sorry, what are some of the different jobs you've had in your life? Um... Let's see, I'll list the jobs I've had. Um, I was working at a place for maybe a week with my friend. I was, as, as his intern, I was work, working with him. And I was working as a culinary, like basically I worked as a culinary intern. I worked in the kitchen at a very famous company. And I was working basically at a, oh God, what was it? Shoot, I don't even remember. Oh, it was Dish Network. I was working at Dish at the little um, cafe in there. And I was working at the Brocken Company, which is the company, the catering business inside the Dish building in Colorado. So, And I was just working there. And then I was working at a place called Newmont Mining. And I was working as a tech service rep. And I basically set up computers. I'm a nerd. I didn't know. But I was working there for like nine months as an intern. They paid me in Starbucks, so I think that's all that matters. I learned a lot how to fix computers, how to install them, how to set them up and all that stuff. So I did all that stuff. And it was one of my most favorite jobs because I loved my coworkers. I think having like a good rapport with your coworkers, um, having good respect for them will help a lot. I know coworkers can sometimes be the most annoying people in the world. You just want to, argh, 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 argh. but other than that, like you just respect them, and because they're doing the same job as you are. And if you think about it, it's just that is the way it is. So, um, so, uh, and then I was working as a Christmas elf uh, for a, a holiday season, Christmas season. Uh, that job was interesting. I could tell you a little bit more about some stories that I've had. 
from getting cursed out in front of every single person in the world and in that mall to having two ladies that there was no one. It was a it was a very slow day, like very slow afternoon. So I got in uh, her. I was just told the lady story real quick. So I was going uh, into work. I got in like an hour early, and I told my boss, "Hey, can I work now?" And he was like, "Yeah, go for it." And I clocked in. Everything is good. And so it was slow, slowest afternoon I've ever seen. And I had this job. I was working really hard at it, and I was also going to school, so immediately after going to school, I did maybe an hour of work, uh, homework, and then I went, home, uh, went to work. From then on, I was standing there waiting for people who wanted pictures with Santa because it was a photography company where you bought packages where you can get. Uh, I looked around, and these two, like, 35-year-old ladies get it, 35 year old ladies, came up to me and said, hey, can we get a picture of Santa? And I was just, me being a good customer service rep, I was just like, okay, sure, let's do it. <laughs> and I was, I was like, I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> I was freaking out a little bit, and then I eventually, I was like, okay, uh, this is not normal. So, all right, let me just plug in my computer real quick. So they were like, let's get a picture. And they both sat on Santa's lap. And they were like, thank you. I, they looked like they just got out of the Cheesecake Factory and had too much to drink. Because the Cheesecake Factory is literally just not that far away from where the kiosk was at the mall. So it was a huge kiosk. So I was like, great, they're drunk. <laughs> Then, then they bought stuff, and I was like, okay, and they just went along. So that was an interesting story. Uh, oh, any new and exciting things that you would like to share? Not really. Uh, just doing more videos and hoping to be more into your life. Um, just I'm going to try to do a new video every day about different things uh, like this, like sitting in on my comfortable chair, which is beautiful. Um, I ramble on a lot. If you ever listen to this, this is fine. Um, any, okay. What is most important in life? Friendship, honesty, loyalty, and love. Um, so, there you go. Oh, what inspires me is the last question. It's a good last question. Good job, whoever wrote this list. What inspires me is... Um, knowing I can be better, and knowing that I can strive to be good, and knowing that there's always hope in this world, and that no matter how hard life can get, you just have to believe in hope, and I think that's what matters, it's like, all that you just need to think about is hope, and people have lost it, uh, people lost faith in humanity, faith in society, faith in the world, and I think that's just thing that people should not fear is the faith of the world. So, my inspiration to you is for that you never leave your faith in the thing you love the most. Because once you lose faith in something, it's hard to regain. So, I think with it all, you should always look towards faith, look towards hope, look towards something to keep you going. And that's all that matters, is looking towards something. <clears throat> like, I look towards you watching this video and all these other videos I've done this today. As I always sign off, I love you guys, and whatever you do, just be you. And no matter how hard life gets, always, never, always, always, always look towards hope. That's just all I can say. Best of luck to you guys. I love you.
That was so weird. My computer just instantly like froze. Oh, oof. that scared me. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Goodbye.